Damn. Let's take a look at what's <laughs> happening out there today. These are facts. And it's also a fact. It's going to rain quite a bit. Strong storm system headed for us as we head into the weekend. Uh, you know, we've reached the end of the work week. We all get a little bit loopy. This one is going to be the strongest system that we've seen so far this season. So let's track it with Futurecast. The rain staying to our north this evening. No worries about any outdoor plans this evening and even early tonight. But the rain is going to be moving in across much of the Bay Area already before the sun comes up with the first wave of the heaviest rain moving in Saturday morning. This is is going to include some heavy downpours and the gustiest winds that we're going to see for the entire duration of the system. But this is just the first wave of rain. It gives way to more of an off and on pattern to the showers during the afternoon. But another wave of rain is going to be moving in Saturday evening and Saturday night. Another little mini break in the action before another round of showers moves in Sunday morning. That gives way to that off and on pattern before yet another round of rain moves in Saturday afternoon. You see the way this is going. We're talking about five or six different waves of moderate to heavy rainfall. The last real burst of the heaviest rain is going to move in Sunday evening. And then as the storm system itself drifts a little bit farther away, it's going to drag all the moisture and cloud cover along with it. And we should be drying out by Monday morning. But how much rain are we talking about? Let's add it up first for the North Bay. And again, keep in mind, this is forecast model data. There's always some flexibility in terms of how good a handle it has on things. But this one seems to be painting a pretty reasonable pattern, anywhere from an inch and a half to two and a half inches of rain for most locations, with a little bit more in some of the higher elevation spots of the North Bay, closer to three or four inches of total rainfall there. And it's also painting some higher amounts in the Santa Cruz Mountains, close to four inches of rain around Ben Lomond. Seems like a reasonable estimate. Otherwise, an inch or two of rain might be overdoing it a little bit for downtown San Francisco. I'd be surprised if we actually get close to three inches of rain, but it's going to be a good soaking rainfall. And the fact that it happens in these waves will hopefully help us avoid any flooding issues in terms of street flooding or any creeks running out of their banks. Now, it's also going to be breezy as that first wave moves in tomorrow morning. A wind advisor is in effect from midnight through 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, but the windiest time frame is going to be basically 6 a.m. to noon. 15 to 25 mile an hour sustained winds out of the south, but gusts up to 45 miles an hour can bring down tree branches, entire trees in some cases, and can result in some sporadic power outages as well. So be prepared for that. And this is not the weekend to be heading up to the Sierra. If you wanted to go there, do it right now before the snow starts later on tonight because and prepare to be prepared to stay a while. You're not going to go anywhere on US 50 or I 80 over the weekend as they start adding up snow by the foot, anywhere from a foot and a half to close to five feet of total snowfall by the time Monday rolls around. Ski resorts are going to be thrilled with it, but they just need to get people up there to take advantage of it. Beautiful sunset this evening as the clouds thicken ahead of our approaching storm system. It's down to 49 already in Santa Rosa. Otherwise, temperatures are still running in the 50s. They won't drop a whole lot because of the cloud cover overhead, acting like a blanket trying to hold some warmth near the ground. We're going to level off in the 40s by early tomorrow morning. And tomorrow is actually the warmest day that we're going to see for a while. Those southerly winds trying to drag some warm air up across the Bay Area, up to around what's normal for this time of year, upper 50s to near 60 degrees. It just won't feel all that mild because of the strong winds and those waves of rain continuing to roll across the region. The rain on Sunday is going to be more of that off and on variety, but it's still a day where it's going to be challenging to get anything done outside. We are going to dry out for a few days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then a chance of showers heads our way by Thursday and Friday. But basically anything in the forecast after Sunday, there's a lot of turbulence in the long range data. It's a complicated pattern, which is kind of confounding our efforts to pin down next week's forecast. We know it's going to be chilly. Eventually, there's going to be another chance of showers headed our way. We'll focus more on that once we get this atmospheric river behind us.